Hi, I'm Silvia Tedesco and I'm a researcher at Manchester Met. I'm interested in producing energy and new materials from waste, which can be organic and degradable, like the content of your garden bins, or recyclable, like food plastic containers. Because the amount of natural resources on Earth is not infinite, scientists around the world are trying to develop new ways for expanding the life and service of our products. This is the length of time that we use something before we bin it. And they're trying to do so by adopting what we call a circular economy approach. You might have heard the term circular economy before, but perhaps you don't know exactly what it means. Well, plastic recycling is a great example of this approach and perhaps something that you're already familiar with. So imagine a closed loop or a circle in which a plastic material is shaped into a component of a product. You use it for a certain length of time that it's collected through the waste disposal system, dismantled, melt and reshaped into a new component which can be used within the same or a completely different type of product. So by regenerating our existing resources, we basically avoid to extract more from our planet. And this is the goal of circular economy. Recycling is very important nowadays, particularly if you think about all the plastic product that surround us and that we use on a daily basis. Some of them are even in our kitchen appliances or our electronic devices such as phone, laptops and computers. Plastic is so common because it's such an incredible, versatile material that we can shape practically into anything that we like. However, some types of plastic are not biodegradable when they are released in the environment. And we know that this is causing a tremendous negative impact to our wildlife and particularly our marine habitats. So what can you do about it? The first thing to do is dispose responsibly of your plastic items, making sure that your county council can recover as much as possible of it. And this will save many lives of animals inside and outside our oceans. The second thing that you can do is to start making your own plastic items at home yourself. And you can do that using recycled plastic in using technology such as 3D printing, for example. This has several advantages. First, you helping decrease the demand for virgin plastics, which are made out of fossil petroleum, which is responsible for greenhouse gases emission and pollution. The second advantage is that at the same time, you're helping increase the demand for recyclable plastic, diverting these materials back into your home and preventing them from reaching our beaches and our oceans. At Manchester Met, one way we contribute to sustainability is through recycling plastic into filaments that then we use for 3D printing. Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Cracknell and I'm a technical specialist in Print City at Manchester Metropolitan University. And my research interests are in 3D printing, electrochemistry and the circular economy. Print City is an innovative hub of additive and digital manufacturing based at Manchester Metropolitan University that works with industries and researchers alike to build the future one layer at a time. In Print City, we are working on an EU funded project called Transform CE, where we look to take recycled plastics and turn them into useful objects and 3D printing filament. I'm Alice Peters and I'm a researcher at Newcastle University. So here you can see example of waste material such as PET, which is often used in bottles. What we can do is we can collect this PET and then convert it into filament. But from this filament we can produce a lot of different designs. Another example is ABS. ABS is also used in Lego blocks. We can also collect this and again turn it into a filament. Using FFF, we can design and print a wide array of different objects. In the future, the possibilities are endless to what you could print using these recycled materials.